All right, welcome back to Velshi and Rule. We got some breaking news we were just telling you about before we went to the break. FBI agent, Special Agent Peter Strzok, has been fired from the FBI. A lot of you will say, well, wasn't he already fired? He was fired from the Mueller, or he was moved from the Mueller investigation. Strzok was a controversial, controversial figure in the Justice Department's investigation into Russian interference in the 2016 election uh, and uh, the, the uh, investigation into possible uh, cooperation with the Trump campaign. Uh, the, Pete Williams is covering the story for us. Pete, again, I think a lot of people thought Strzok was already out. He was still an employee of the FBI. I'm completely confused. Oh, yes, that's right. He was removed from the Mueller investigation last year after Robert Mueller was told by the just Justice Department's inspector general about the discovery of these text messages between uh, Strzok and Lisa Page, who was uh, the FBI's uh, counsel's office. But he continued to be an employee. But the, the, the further blow to him was some devastating language in the inspector general's report that came out earlier this year, just a short time ago, within the last month or so, that, uh, re that uh, revealed some new text messages between Strzok and Page. And uh, after that, the FBI director, Christopher Wray, said that the FBI would undertake a change in the FBI's culture to make sure this sort of thing didn't happen again and that appropriate disciplinary steps would be taken. Now, uh, his legal counsel has told the Washington Post that first reported this firing, which I've since confirmed with some law enforcement officials. Uh, his lawyer is saying that this is not the normal way this should have happened, that he should have been afforded the complete disciplinary process, but that instead the FBI director, FBI's deputy director, David Bowditch, uh, informed Strzok on Friday, last Friday, that he would be fired. So uh, whether he'll undertake legal action, remember that the FBI's former deputy director, Andrew McCabe, has talked about legal action against the FBI and the Justice Department for how he was fired. He says there was presidential influence. Uh, whether they're going to undertake legal action here, I don't know, but his lawyer has said that the way this has, has been handled is very irregular. But the other thing to note about this, of course, is Strzok has been the probably single most often cited reason that uh, Republicans, some in Republicans in the House, have been critical of the investigation, of the FBI, of the Justice Department. So removing him certainly takes away what has been a very sore point for congressional Republicans who have been critical of the Mueller investigation. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.